Hey, it's Jennifer Sparks. I'm so excited to be sharing with you today my stay at Strat. I'm spending three weeks in Las Vegas and I'm checking out a ton of different resorts. So if you're new to my channel, you have found a good resource for your upcoming trip. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I feel about everything and all the resorts that I stayed at. Well, enough about me. Let's talk about Strat, formerly the Stratosphere. First, let's talk about the location. I am out here at five o'clock in the morning. I wanna show you where it is. It's not very convenient. It's one of the biggest problems about Strat. It's in the very north end of the Strip. The closest casinos around there would be Circus Circus, Resorts World, and Sahara, and there's still a little bit of a hike to get to. But with that being said, if you're just looking to come to Vegas for a few days and you really want a cheap accommodation and you don't really care about seeing Las Vegas, this really isn't a bad deal. I'm gonna show you around. We're gonna be seeing a lot in this video today, so stick around. Walking into the Strat, it's very open. You walk right into the casino. It's very fancy, almost a little futuristic looking. Check-in was very simple. You could self-check or you could go to the desk. It was very easy to navigate. Check-in was a breeze for us. I had booked a king room on Priceline. I usually don't do that, but the rate was much cheaper. I went to the desk to see if I could get two queens because my cousin Anita decided to come with me. Upon check-in, we were delighted. I was not expecting much. I've read bad reviews about Strat, and I was really surprised how nice everything was. This video was filmed in September 2023. It is Labor Day weekend on a Sunday night. Typically, Sunday nights is a good time to book a room in Las Vegas because everybody leaves after the weekend, but not on Labor Day. So that's one of the reasons I booked the Strat because the prices are much more reasonable than the rest of the Strip. Plus, I really wanted to see for myself how bad is this place? Is it a good deal for people? So far, I have zero complaints. I was really impressed with how clean everything was. Everything was in working order. They had not only had a coffee maker, they had a refrigerator that was empty that you could actually use <laughs> that wasn't full of like, you know, things that you could buy and purchase for an outrageous amount of money. They had a TV showing you what was going on with Stratosphere. My cousin Anita wants to share her opinion yeah, with you. Bad here so far. As soon as I walked in the door, the air felt clean, crisp. I saw machines, and I just had a good feel. Like it's just spacious. It smells good. And then the service at the desk, Mark, who happens to be from Connecticut, like us, was great. It's comfortable. It's spacious. There's USB ports because the last place we stayed didn't have any USB. Ports. One star. Yeah. <laughs> so we got USB. Only ports. two pillows, which comfortable. isn't horrible. That's but okay. I could get past that. Yes. The last place had four pillows. Yeah. And we have our own bed. So <laughs> we, we slept we on the couch anyway. So. Yeah. And then they have a curry coffee maker, which we all know. You know me. Coffee. Coffee. Is my thing. Coffee. Anyway, I'm like. Poor Anita. I, I seriously dragged her to so many different hotels. She said she wanted to come with me. I'm like, you realize we're moving every day, right? <laughs> she was a trooper. I'm going to go down and show you Swim and Social. This is their pool. This is the family pool. There is also a 21 and up pool. You can find Swim and Social, the family pool, on the eighth floor. It may be a little choppy, but I'm going to leave the sound raw so you can hear the sounds at Swim and Social at Strat. Anita stayed behind and is going to take a little rest. I'm just going to walk around and film this for you and show you what it's like over here. We're going to get into the cabanas. I'm going to take you by the bars. I'm going to show you what the atmosphere is like over at the strap pool. Visually, it is great. This is like an Instagram paradise up here. A lot of great photo opportunities. And I was I don't know why I say I'm surprised. I don't know. I guess because I hear so many bad things about Strat. But this was really nice. The cabanas were beautiful and cheap. They are a fraction of the cost. That and the day beds. Other hotels on the Strip charged like two, three times as much as the, they did over here. I can't really quote you prices because it changes every day. You know, you have to kind of call ahead or go on their website if you want to see an exact price for the day that you're going. But honestly, I was pretty excited walking around there. I really didn't know what to expect, but it was much nicer than I thought it was going to be. It's not nearly as up there as far as size-wise as like say Mandalay Bay with the wave pool and the lazy river. There's nothing like that. And it's not luxurious, say, like Bellagio or Venetian, but, you know, it has, you know, it kind of just checks all the boxes as far as being, you know, comfortable, large in size. I mean, it was a holiday weekend. I didn't find it to be extremely crowded, 
the, the people that were there were day drinking a little bit, but nobody was rowdy. But like I said, this is my experience the day I was there. Have you stayed at the Strat before? What was your experience like? Let me know in the comments below. Is this your favorite place to stay? I would love to hear from you. Okay, I think I have a pretty good film here. I went upstairs to go check out the adult only pool, but it was a topless pool and they said I can't bring my camera. So I kind of felt like, all right, <laughs> it's not even worth going in for me. So I grabbed my cousin Anita. We really want to check out the Sky Pod observation deck. Little helpful hint, if you do stay at Strat, you get really good discounted tickets to go to the Sky Pod. Didn't know that. We were pleasantly surprised. From what I've been told, the Strat observation deck is the, the tallest observation deck in the United States. And not only is it an observation deck, there's a restaurant up there, lounges, rides. I mean, it's incredible. Here's a list of all the opportunities that you can try at the top of the strap. I gotta say at this point, I'm really excited, but I'm a little nervous. I have a little thing with heights, but the observation area is all glass and closed. It's not open, so I think I'm gonna do okay. Hello, party people. <laughs> Hello, here, Hi, we're going. here we are at the sky, uh, sky pod. Sky pod, I think this and is, yes. Going to go, uh, here we go. I'm pressing both because I don't know. We're doing press. it, we're doing it. I'm shocked I didn't get any of the elevator ride. It was seriously so fast. If you purchase tickets, you can use them all day long. Oh my God. Oh, this is incredible. And that's downtown over there. That's uh, Fremont. Make sure if you can to get up there for sunset though. It was truly breathtaking. I have been in Vegas for three weeks and this is easily one of my favorite things that we did. Other viewing opportunities in Las Vegas would be Caesar's Eiffel Tower at Paris and the High Roller at the League Promenade. There is also food for purchase up there and a bar as well. I get the same feeling up there as when I'm safe in an airplane. How just, it just amazing and magical. Look at that sunset. It's also a good way to look at the strip in downtown and try to figure out where everything is. Lots of places to sit and relax. You could literally spend all day up here. See that, but there was a beautiful rainbow too. We were in Las Vegas end of August, early September when they were having the flash floods. But it was an absolutely beautiful day and a beautiful sunset when we were at the Strat. Half cappuccino, half coffee because the cappuccino is sweet and so okay. it's coffee and I got some homemade potato chips. Okay, $4. let's try it. Those homemade chips, you gotta try them. They are so good. They were like $4 for a bag and they were delicious. Okay, we're gonna say goodbye for now. We're gonna head over to Fremont Street, but that is another video. Um, we'll be back. We're gonna go check this out again in the evening at nighttime. And we're back. Word of advice, it's much easier to film during sunset. There's too much glare almost at night, but it is wonderful to see. It is now the next morning. I am up super early. I'm gonna be taking you guys around to show you what else is at the Strat. Restaurants, lounges, bars. We're gonna walk through the casino, all that stuff. The Strat Cafe was open early for breakfast. I was able to film this pretty fast. I thought the Strat was gonna be a lot bigger than it was. It seems so massive when you see it from far away. But with that being said, it's very easy to navigate. If you're going with others, it'd be easy to find them. Some casinos are just so huge. Mandalay Bay, for example, it took me probably two hours to film that place. It's just so big. In my personal experience, the day I was there, I felt very safe. The security was all over the place in the morning. 
Everybody was very friendly too. I have to say, I'm huge on customer service. I love when I walk by somebody and they smile and say good morning. I don't find that in every hotel. The customer service at the Strat was very friendly. Now come join me as I go explore the Strat. Everything I'm gonna show you first is on the bottom floor, and then we're gonna go up the escalator. There is a top floor there that has the elevators that will take you up to the Sky Pod. There will be some restaurants, some stores, there's a McDonald's up there. I'll be showing you all that. Here's a pretty decent sized sports book at Strat as well. Little pro tip, if you are gonna come to Strat and you are gonna gamble, make sure you have the player's card. First of all, they give you a, a sign-on bonus right away. If you play a certain amount, they'll give you a certain amount of free play. Plus you'll get free offers in the future. Now let's take a look at the second floor. I found this pretty interesting, how the stratosphere measures up to other viewing observation decks. I seriously wouldn't rule this place out, at least for a visit. Even if you don't spend the night here, you should come check this out. This is amazing. If you're still with me, I hope you're enjoying the tour. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I found the gymnasium. I'm gonna take you down there as I give you my final thoughts about the Strat. I, I actually enjoyed it. I think for a day or two, I think it's great. I don't know if I would want to stay there personally for a week, say. The Strat will not appeal to someone that's expecting something that's very themed or something that's luxurious. It is not either of those. Like I said, it feels a little futuristic. It feels a little bit like a theme park a little bit, but it is not luxurious by any means, but it is very fun, friendly, and reasonably priced. If you want to see more of my videos about Las Vegas, I'm going to leave them here for you. Just click on one of these boxes right here. Thank you so much for watching. This is your tour guide, Jennifer Sparks. Book that trip to Vegas. Pack your bags and go. Safe travels to you and good luck in the casinos.